Hello everyone, this is Endgame Arts, we do another unboxing, another breakdown, another demo. This is Deadlight, the director's cut. Now this is an import game, um, so I don't hear too many people talk about this one. I don't even too many people know they actually got a physical release. It's available on Steam, but the Steam version, I don't know what the difference between the director's cut and the original version. So I don't know, I didn't play the, uh, the original version, this is the first time I ever played the game. And I don't know what's the difference of what they add or what they did to it, so I'm sorry. But what I've seen right here, it seems like a very interesting game. Now, you got your typical features, like you can see artwork, uh, watch the videos, you've seen the video, and just see some concept of the makings of, and unlock certain stuff like files and stuff like that, and survival notes. You got two game modes. You got the typical campaign mode, and you got survival mode, where you basically you—it's just a survival mode. Like you try to see how long you can survive in some location with all the equipment they try to provide you. Story is nothing too special or new. It's just your typical name. You're a lone survivor, and you're trying to save your friends and family, and I mean, and that's just your typical work. Uh, it's just your like I said. There's nothing I can really explain, but other than to say that this—if you've ever played a game like Limbo, it's got that feel where you're. You're just easily to, to die. You're just trying to survive and do puzzles and stuff like that. What this one has at least a little combat here involved. It's got melee combat with a fire axe. It has a uh, guns and stuff like that. And it is an interesting game. I mean, it it provides an interesting atmosphere as well. I do feel the voice acting could have been a little bit better at certain moments. It's kind of cringeworthy, I would say, even for my standards. And I'm not very picky on these kinds of things. But it could have been a little better. At times, I actually felt that it probably would have been better if they chose not to provide any voice acting in this game, period. I think this game could have really benefited with doing a limbo sto uh, style where uh, there's no voice acting. The, the atmosphere and the, the, the imagery and the audio would have been what drives the game, where there's no dialogue. And the cutscenes could have had that too, where there was no dialogue or anything. You just, uh, the imagery could have told you what was going on. Well, also, what's really good about Deadlight is that. I like how the, the background's perspective, the, the, the depth of it, actually is related to the game. Like that zombie you see way in the back, he can actually start walking towards me and getting located to my, my walking platform. And not just zombies are all that way too. There's other things that interacts and goes on in the game as well. And stuff you can interact with, like the boxes and stuff like that. You see a box in the distance and you go over there and you grab it and bring it into your playing area. That brings a lot more depth and realism to the uh, sp the space and be like you're some, you're, somehow your character's locked in this 2D right side-scrolling path. And there's not really much exploring. It's not like um, like open world or anything like that or uh, a Metrovania kind of game style. It's more just your linear like limbo style and you'll find a couple hidden areas here and there if you can locate them. The game is not super difficult but it can be quite challenging your first time through. But once you've beat it once you're not going to have too much a newer experience in the game. Like I said, the the combat system is really good too. You get your fire axe here. Uh, it you get a couple swings. You try to knock down the zombie. Now you can occasionally get a lucky hit and you decapitate the zombie, but most times you will have to knock the zombie down to the ground and use hold down your attack button to decapitate them or chop them in half like that. Where you see I did a big powerful swing at the bottom. That's the way to fully take them down. Now you can also find other stuff like guns and stuff like that. Molotovs like a grenade. And there's also the fact that you can up find stuff to upgrade your main character, like give him more stamina to work with and more health. It'll give him a lot more, make him feel a lot more stronger. The combat and the, the impact of it, it feels great. It feels satisfying to do it and taking out the zombies. But also you don't feel like a powerhouse either because if you get overwhelmed, you will be overwhelmed and you do die easily. You may think three bars of life, but anything will take your life away. So I mean, you got to be very careful with that. I did occasionally come across where it's kind of hard to climb up certain things here and there. And there was a pretty big update in the game. Uh, it was like nearly like half the size of the game. The game takes like 5 gigabytes of space. But the, the update took like 2.3 gigabytes to download. And after you saw at the beginning of the area, it was like for the ladder board. I do not know what kind of ladder board requires like 2.5 gigabytes or 2.3 gigabytes of download space. But I played it without the update. I didn't see anything change or alter or anything like that. So it felt like you don't even really need to download this huge patch. Unless you're someone who's really into a ladder board main style where you like to see the highest rank or something. It's not necessary to download at all. But aside from that, 
I do think this was actually a really good game to pick up. It's fun. It's a good zombie game. Now, if you're tired of zombie games, it's not going to really change your perspective of uh, another zombie game. But all in all, Nain, it's nice to play a different style with 2D off to the side like this and find the hidden stuff. And like I said, it's I generally was really enjoying this game. And I Nain, it's like I said, it's an import. I don't think they ever provided this anywhere else in any other country or anything like that. And I think it's the only physical release available. So I think it's well worth a pick up right then and there. Uh, it's there's not much else I can say. This game doesn't do too much other than what I've pretty much said. Nain. All in all, I was enjoying it. I think it's a well worth game to check out if you are interested in it. I will provide links down at the bottom for you guys to check them out. And if you enjoyed this video or you like to see more of my videos, just hit that like and subscribe button. It's always um, it's great to hear about what you think too. I love to hear your comments. If you have any questions, I'll be gladly to reply back to you. It's a generally a pretty good game. So, man, I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye!